deep beneath the Arctic Ocean lies a creature. This creature can live up to 200 years and it weighs 80,000 kilograms. Its heart is the size of a car. In spite of its longevity as well as its large size, the rate of cancer in this creature is very low. This is the bowhead whale, which is in the Arctic Ocean. Thus, the secret of longevity as well as low rates of cancer is not in any high-tech lab, but it is situated deep beneath this Arctic Ocean. Thus, this character which this bowhead whale possesses can be incorporated into humans. Let's see in today's video. Before we go into detail why this bowhead whale has very low rates of cancer, we need to understand a paradox. This is called as the Peto's paradox. See, cancer is as a result of a mistake which happens in your cell division. See, every day in our body, millions of cells undergo cell division. Cancer can happen when there is a mistake in the cell division in the form of a mutation. See, this can be having a lot of risk factors also. Let's not get into how cancer occurs. That is a separate video. So usually cancers occur when our cells are continuously dividing in our body and some mistake happens in it. This is cancer in its most simplified form. See, in our human body, there are about 37 trillion cells. But these bowhead whales, they have about 3.7 quadrillion cells. Means there are so many more cells which are more than the humans which are getting divided and they live for a longer period than humans. That is, the oldest recorded bowhead whale is about 211 years old. Some say that it can live up to 250 years. See, with so much longevity and with so many more cells, that is 100 times more than what is there in the human body is there in this bowhead whale. But still, the cancer rates are low. This is an extreme form of this Peto's paradox. That is, with so many cells dividing, there is always a chance of a mistake. But fascinatingly, this bowhead whale resists this chance of a mistake. Let's see how it is happening. Now, scientists were confused. How this bowhead whale is having such low rates of cancer? They started comparing it with other mammals. The first mammal they compared it with was elephants. See, elephants also live long, they are big, and they also are known to have very low rates of cancer. And the main reason why elephants have low rate of cancer is the high amount of this P53 tumor suppressor gene. In very basic terms, P53, how it acts is, it detects a defective cell in your body and it immediately destroys it. Anything out of the ordinary in your body, this P53 destroys it and that is known as the apoptosis. First scientists thought that this bowhead whale was having high amount of P53 genes just like the elephant. See, humans also have this P53 gene. But the number in the elephants is very high and that is the reason they say elephants have less amount of cancer incidence. So initially scientists also thought this bowhead whale is also will going to be having less amount of cancer because of high amount of P53 gene. But in the lab they found out that these whales have same number of P53 gene as any other mammals. And then they realized another thing. If this bowhead whale had a high amount of P53 genes, it will start detecting tiny mistakes and it will destroy any cell which is dividing and having a mistake. See, the problem in this is, this bowhead whale is about 100 tons as well as it is living up to 200 years. With living up to 200 years, with so much cell division happening in its body, and they start using this P53 for degrading the cells, this will fasten the tissue degeneration. For example, if you have an historic building and you start destroying the rooms there because the rooms are dusty, the initial problem of the rooms being dusty will be solved. But the whole structure over a period of time will collapse. So then they realized that this bowhead whale was not using this P53 tumor suppression mechanism as a major process to have low rates of cancer. That is when they realized that this bowhead whale has something amazing which actually prevents these mistakes from happening. See, usually in the human body or any other mammal, mistakes happen in cell division and that is when this P53 gene detects this mistake and it will destroy it. But scientists now realize that bowhead whale have gone one step further. That is, they have some mechanism in the body which prevents this mistake from happening. Now coming to the miracle, how it occurs. See, 
in our body in mammals body there is a lot of cells they undergo cell division and there is a lot of external factors like radiation environmental factors our own body's metabolism which can cause this mistake in a cell division to happen and there are a lot of mistakes which can happen which can lead to cancer but the most dangerous one is something called as the double stranded break this double stranded break can occur in the dna of the body of humans as well as mammals think of this double strand break happening in a dna as something like a ladder if both the sticks of the ladder are broken this is what is called as a double stranded break when this happens what happens the dna breaks and that is one of the causes of cancer see our body has a mechanism to resist this see they have two methods to repair this problem one is the non homologous end joining so when this double stranded break occurs what happens the dna breaks now what this non homologous end joining does is what mistake which has happened that part of the dna will go the healthy part will remain they will try to glue it together basically example is like this ladder when the ladder breaks what do we do we put a glue and stick it similarly this non homologous end joining does the same thing but this process has a lot of mistakes which can happen when this glue comes and fixes it because the dna is never going to be the same a mistake has happened a part of the dna is broken and what is joined will never replicate what was there before this mistake has happened this is one downfall of this non homologous end joining the second process is something which is called as the homologous recombination when this double strand break happens this homologous recombination will regrow the healthy portion of the dna which is left behind this is like an lizard losing its tail and regrowing it but this process takes time and for the majority of our life we are stuck with this non homologous end joining pathway where there is a lot of mistakes which can happen now scientists were baffled thinking how this bowhead whale is resisting cancer they took it to lab they realized it has a protein which is known as the cold inducible rna binding protein this protein what it does is when the double stranded break happens it immediately goes and glues it in addition it will recruit some enzymes there in such a way that the portion where the mistake has happened also gets repaired usually in other mammals what happens is the mistake portion will be removed and only the healthy portions will be stuck together but this cold inducible rna binding protein what it does is it sticks this two dna along with the portion where mistake happens it recruits repair enzymes in such a way that this repair is corrected see the most important thing in this is the cell is not degenerated see what happens in humans when a cell mistake happens the cell is killed but in this bowhead whales when a mistake happens these cold inducible rna binding proteins they go there they make sure that the mistake portion is corrected and the cell is still alive so this reduces wear and tear and this reduces tissue degeneration in such a way that mistakes don't happen in the first place because the mistake is corrected and the second thing is these cells because of not undergoing wear and tear are able to live long and that is one of the reasons why this bowhead whale are living long also at the same time resisting cancer see can this process be induced in humans see humans also have this cold inducible rna binding proteins but the main problem is they don't express it a lot scientists have found out that this cold inducible rna binding protein can be expressed more in cold temperatures that is the reason why this bowhead whale could have had a large number of this cold inducible rna binding proteins because they live in the arctic waters where the water is very cold so can we express this genes by keeping it in minus temperature that only time is going to tell because some trials have been conducted where they try to inject this cold inducible rna binding protein into human cells and it has actually reduced dna damage the second thing is they have injected it into fireflies and they found out that these fireflies are also resistant to cancer when this cold inducible rna binding protein is injected into them so are we heading into this era where we can also make sure that cold inducible rna binding protein is expressed more in humans only time is going to tell see i am not saying that we should live for 200 years 300 years till how much we are living we should make sure that we should live long and healthy and with this bowhead whale in the process of evolution it has found a way to defeat cancer see today cancer is one of the major causes of mortality and morbidity in human beings and if we are able to express this cold inducible rna binding protein through some technology in the future then we can also beat cancer do like share and subscribe me for more interesting videos